Our next guest is a homegrown celebrity. He's known on NBC Santa Barbara as Mason Capwell. In real life, he's Dalton, Georgia native Lane Davies. Welcome back to Noonday, Lane. Thank you. You've um, been pretty busy this morning. Pretty busy. Uh, Ray and I have been following each other around the city, it seems like. <laughs> following in each other's footsteps. Yeah, yeah. Now, you're in town for a Shakespeare Festival. Right, the Georgia Shakespeare Festival. It's my, um, my second year with it, and we're on the Oglethorpe University campus for about another about another week, I guess. Which play is it? Is it? Are there several? There are two. Uh, Romeo and Juliet and Much Ado About Nothing. I'm in Much Ado About Nothing. I play Benedict, sort of a uh, um, lifelong bachelor who gets caught. Gets caught. During the course of the play, right. You, funny, you don't strike me as a Shakespearean type actor. Um, it's funny. I, I, it was rather late in life that I, that I did. Well, I started doing it in my 20s, really, but I didn't really get serious with it until I hit, uh, until I passed 30, and, mm -hmm. and that's when I really got, I always knew I would do it, but that's when I really got hooked for good. I'd done a few before then, but not, uh, uh, not to the extent that I'm doing them now. Did you study Shakespeare in school? Did, were you infatuated oh, with Oh, we, we, you know, touched on it, and we had it in English, of course, and theater and what have you, but it was really watching it, watching other actors do it that got me hooked on it. Do you think that there's an appeal for, of Shakespeare or for Shakespeare for everyone? There's something there for everybody. You don't have to be a highbrow to appreciate Go, no, Shakespeare. No, no. I mean, the, the audience that Shakespeare was writing for um, covered all strata from, from practically subhuman groundlings that would throw <laughs> things at you if they got bored to um, Her Majesty herself. You know. Have you ever done Macbeth? I'm doing it this fall. Are you? Odd you should ask. Um, or the Scottish play, if you're superstitious. Um, <laughs> I, I work a lot with a small theater in Los Angeles called the Globe Playhouse. Mm -hmm. the Shakespeare Society of America Globe Playhouse is a full time. Or I've been working there off and on for 11 years and going mm -hmm. to do it there. Now, on to the juicy stuff in Santa Barbara. You're on leave from there right now. Yes. I um, had gotten the out to do the festival and um, just basically said I, I would be back at the end of the summer. And uh, don't look for me before then. <laughs> so no. I'll go back to work shortly. What can we expect to happen with Mason this fall? Anything you can let us in on? I don't really know. Um, I, I, there'll be more mix-up with the babies. I have lots of babies on the show now. I know that. Um, I assume I'll stop being beaten and tortured sometime soon because I have to go back on the show. Um, as far as long range goes, I'm sure there'll be lots of intrigue with uh, Julia and Tori. Um, lots over of the intrigue. next couple of months. Oh, we love that intrigue. Yeah. Now, there are not a lots of babies running around in uh, Lane's life, are there? No, no, they're not. Lots of uh, nephews and cousins and, and um, that sort of thing. But I, um, uh, to the best of my knowledge, have remained childless up, up to this point. Most Shakespearean actors have to remain childless. Did you know that was a prerequisite? No, I, no, I didn't, but I'm not surprised. <laughs> now, are you interested in doing any movies? I, yeah, yeah, I've, um... I've done a couple here in Atlanta with RMC Films of Atlanta, Bill Vanderklute and Michael Simpson, and at this point there are probably nine projects in this town which I'm, uh, which I'm attached to, either through RMC or Double Helix Films, which is out of New York, or Emerald Entertainment, which is another group. What kind of roles interest you, um, movie-wise? Action, adventure, romance? All kinds. You know, I, I'm not really that... Um, I'm not really that picky at, at this point. I, I just, um, I, I like doing different things, and I've probably done less film than anything else in my career. My real background is stage, and, and now I've done quite a bit of daytime television, and uh, I just want to do features. Now in your live theater, do you branch outside of Shakespeare into other? Yeah, yeah, I've, I've done... Uh, done a lot of other, but I've done a lot of musicals during the course of my career. Of sorts, yeah. Of sorts. I, you know, I've, done, I, I've done some fairly singy parts, like Petruchio and Kiss Me Case. Mm -hmm. um, Do you sing as well as Howard Keel? Not as well as Howard Keel. Not as, I, I couldn't honestly say that. But I'm, you try hard. He's very legit. I'm semi-legit. <laughs> You're semi-legit. You know. Well, Lane, it is good to see you. Welcome it's back and come back you. again real soon. It's always good to be here. Oh, now, yeah. you can see Lane Davies at the Georgia Shakespeare Festival now through August 23rd on the Oglethorpe University campus. Performances are Tuesday through Sunday at 8.30. Now, for information on tickets, call 264-0020. Thanks for being with us, and we'll watch out for you in Santa Barbara and all of that intrigue and Thank stuff. Thank you, Roman.